What's up, beautiful people? Many of you are gym equipment connoisseurs, so I figured I'd start doing some videos just comparing the intricacies and details and subtleties of different machines. So today, I'm going to compare the flex leverage to the Gymico wide chest press. So we'll kind of go through the different motions and how they're similar and how they're different. Tell me what you guys think. All right, so I love comparing equipment. I was always curious about how these two compared uh, before I owned them. So I'm going to compare the flex leverage to the Gymlico chest press. So I'm going to show you some different angles of the pressing motion. You can see this is the flex leverage. The convergence is excellent. Uh, the hand position is slightly closer than the Gymlico, and there's um, definitely good contraction of the pecs for those people who have used it. There's a reason why it's one of the considered one of the best chest presses ever uh, the quality is amazing so you can kind of see the way it converges it's more of a straight motion path uh, as compared to the Jimico which is a more decline I'm going to show the Jimico now so the motion path is wider and it's a slightly more decline you can also see the convergence is actually more it converges more than the flex leverage and you see how it kind of declines a little bit more so it really should be considered a decline press rather than a straight a vertical chest press but the feel is slightly different the main benefit of the Jimico is the pre-stretch foot lever now notice as well how the weight how far the weight comes up so because the weight comes significantly past parallel the strength curve is such that the peak contraction is a lot easier than the flex leverage which is one of the reasons I like it a lot uh, because I'm able to get a peak contraction a lot better so I also if I want it to be harder at the end I just add bands so great chest presses both of them uh for me i personally prefer the gymlico but they're both excellent chest presses both amazing pieces of equipment um, and allow you to truly press from a stable seated position uh, from my perspective safer even more effective than traditional bench press where you're not able to truly bring your your there's no convergence with the bench press you can certainly do internal intent but from a true pure hypertrophy perspective, I think they're far superior to a traditional barbell bench press. Uh, but you can't go wrong with either one or if you're able to find one or use one, uh, consider yourself lucky. So tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe below. Uh, we'll keep doing some equipment spotlight kind of videos, comparing things. Uh, have an awesome day.